Right now we are in Okavango Delta, uh, in the middle of nowhere in Botswana. This is really as wilderness as it can get. Like it's just surrounded by bushes and really nothing else. The Makoros, well, I love these things. It looks easy. I mean, you see the local guys um, just going, but you start going and you start like circling. But then after a while, you, you start enjoying it a little bit more and grabbing some speed. The up and close personal with the elephant that you just, you, in the, like, when you see him off the boat or out of the truck, it's still beautiful, but just to actually feel the texture of the skin, feel the, the vibrations when they're doing their call to each other, uh, having, especially being on the matriarch, having the, the little the baby come up and suckle, and just a, a totally different experience. I've heard friends do overland tours and they've never said anything bad about them, like nobody has come back and said I wouldn't do that. Um, I had been in and out of hostels, like at weekends and stuff in Cape Town, so there'd been a lot of brochures around and it was just a matter of picking a good one. The African travel company looked the best one to do. Every day you wake up and it's an absolutely different experience. It's, uh, you never know what is going to happen, you never know which people you're going to meet, what sort of uh, adventures or things you're going to be looking at, what interesting stories you're going to hear, and, and that includes everything from politics, religion, uh, different cultures. We're at Lake Malawi in Malawi. It's a beautiful freshwater lake um, and we're on Candy Beach. Um, it's just a beautiful setting. The water's so clear, it's so fresh. Um, there's local people out washing their clothes by the beach. It's just a really idyllic setting. Nice way to wake up and watch the sunrise. Zanzibar has many different sides to it. You know, it's got the stone town, the old architecture. It's got um, 